Hello, I'm here in Dungarvan on the Abbey side, and across the channel here is King John's Castle. King John, you know, you've heard the stories about Robin Hood and uh, um, Richard the Reinhardt, the Lionhearted, his brother, Magna Carta, it's that King John. And he, he, he built a number of castles here in Ireland, here in Dublin, at Limerick, a few other places. And so he was, a, uh, you know, quite productive, to be honest, here. He's got a bad name, but he got a lot done in, in Ireland, uh, I would say. So, but I'm really here just to talk about, and I'm kind of in a, in a tunnel here. The, the, the wind is so bad, it keeps messing up my video, but I'll give you a little peek, though. That kind of a beige house there is uh, the home of uh, Ernest Walton. Now, Ernest Walton is the man that split the atom in the early 1930s. He and another man in Cambridge split it. The rest is history. Uh, we know all the, the good and the bad that came from that. And uh, yet the only Irishman to, to be a, a, a Nobel laureate, a, a brilliant man. And so he's born here in uh, Dungarvan in 1903. His father is the local Methodist minister. At that point in, in, in Ireland, uh, you know, you had your, your different kind of Presbyterians, you had your Catholics, which was primarily here in the South. And and uh, so Walton's father uh, is here. There's probably a group of 20 or 30 Methodists. And what would happen back in the day, they, let's say, there I think there was, it was a furniture shop, a local Methodist man owned, and so a big shop. And so Methodists from all over Ireland, young people would come to work. And the third floor, the men would stay. The second floor, the women would stay, and, and uh, it was a little community, and they needed a minister, so so there was one there provided for them. And so, the interesting thing, though, about Ernest is that as a scientist, he was also a strong Christian. He wrote about his Christianity. There's great quotes from him. He testified uh, about it. He lectured about his, his own uh, uh, Christian experience after he became really a celebrity in the scientific world. And so, uh, what's interesting, I also uh, lived in Yall, which is about 20 minutes from here, and I met an ex-mayor of Yall, who was also a Methodist, and he lived next door to Ernest back in Dublin, I think in the 1960s. And he told me Ernest was a fine Christian, and he'd heard him speak a number of times in church, and they were neighbors, and really testified to the man's uh, sincere faith. And so, anyway, it's a little bit of Irish history that people don't realize, or Christians don't realize, that this man was a great man of faith and science, and you can have both. Anyway, a little bit of history for you. God bless.